Being turned down can feel like a punch in the gut. It takes guts to risk your self-esteem, and rejection, oh boy, can sting. But what if I told you that every rejection has a reason? Perhaps it's not just about you not being her cup of tea, but a few missteps on your part that could be causing these romantic mishaps. Let's uncover the seven reasons that might be giving your love story a wrong turn. Stick with me, and we'll navigate this together. Because hey, understanding these can be your roadmap to dodging those curveballs and getting back in the game stronger and wiser. After all, the game of love isn't for the faint-hearted, right? 1. Desperation in Tone Desperation is like a loud, off-tune guitar. It's easy to spot and kind of a buzzkill. And women? They've got a keen ear for it, especially when a guy's plucking up the courage to ask them out. They're like detectives, picking up on even the tiniest of details. Imagine this. You're at a party, and there's this person who clings on to anyone who shows them a bit of attention. Not the most appealing picture, right? That's what desperation looks like. It's a major turnoff. Sometimes, after a breakup, you might overanalyze your approach, unknowingly cranking up that desperation dial. The fix? Take a chill pill. Treat yourself with a pinch of lightness and a dash of confidence. After all, you're not auditioning for a desperation reality show. You're just being you, real and authentic confidence, not desperation. 2. Don't be boring. Nobody likes a bore. And when it comes to attracting women, being a dull dude is a no-go. It's like going to a party with only saltine crackers. Where's the excitement? Where's the flavor? So if you're wondering, why didn't she text back, or why am I getting ghosted? Well, you might just be serving up a platter of plain, unseasoned conversation. It's time to switch it up, fellas. Remember, every woman is unique, with her own interests, passions, and curiosities. Engage with her world, ask thoughtful questions, and share your own fascinating stories and experiences. Inject humor into your interactions. Making her laugh can be a powerful magnet. Show her you're not just a man of action, but also a man of intrigue and intellect. So don't just be the guy who exists, be the guy who exhilarates. That's the secret sauce to dodging the dreaded he's boring tag. 3. Ambitionless Let's talk about ambition, or rather, lack of it. It's one of the reasons that might make a woman say, sorry, not interested. Picture this, you're on a boat, but there's no destination, no map just aimlessly drifting. Would that be exciting? Probably not. In the game of love, being ambitionless is like being that boat. Women are drawn to men who have goals, dreams, and the drive to chase them. It's not about having a six-figure salary or a fancy job title. It's about showing her that you're motivated, you're going somewhere, and you're not just sitting back waiting for things to happen. So if you've been wondering why you're not clicking with the ladies, maybe it's time to ask yourself, are you showing them your ambitious side? Are you sharing your dreams, your plans, your zest for life? Trust me, a man with a plan is a lot more attractive than a man without one. 4. Don't push for an answer. You're in the gym, pumping iron, and someone comes over, yanking on your arm mid-lift, demanding to know how much you can bench. It's off-putting, right? The same goes for pushing a woman for an answer. Sure, we all want clarity. But pressuring her into making a decision about you? It's as cool as wearing socks with sandals. It sends out vibes of desperation and impatience, and believe me, those aren't attractive. Instead, think of your interaction as a dance. It's all about give and take. Show your interest, but also give her the space to decide. If she's into you, she'll let you know. Patience is a virtue. So, the next time you're tempted to push for an answer, remember the gym scenario. Instead, keep lifting. Keep showing your best self and let her come to you at her own pace. 5. Chill out. All right, let's get one thing straight. Nobody likes a hothead. Imagine you're watching a movie and the volume is cranked all the way up. It's overwhelming, isn't it? Same thing applies when you're too intense, too high strung. Relax, guys. Being chill is about having a cool head, not letting small stuff rattle you. It's like surfing. You need to ride the waves, not fight them. Women appreciate a man who can keep his cool, someone who's a safe harbor in a storm, not the storm itself. And remember, 
Being chill doesn't mean being indifferent or uncaring. It's about showing that you can handle life's ups and downs with grace and composure. So next time you find yourself ramping up, take a deep breath and dial it back. Show her that you're not just cool, you're chill. 6. Body Posture Body posture is like your silent wingman, speaking volumes about you before you even utter a word. A slouched posture? It's a billboard screaming, I'm not confident. Stand tall, gentlemen, and watch the magic unfold. Think about it. An erect posture exudes confidence, shows that you're comfortable in your own skin. It's like wearing a perfectly tailored suit. It just makes you feel good, right? And trust me, she'll notice. But hey, it's not just about standing tall. It's also about how you use your body space. Lean in when she's talking. It shows you're interested. Maintain eye contact. It builds connection. But don't invade her personal bubble. Respect her space. So the next time you're stepping out, remember to check your posture. Shoulders back, chest out, chin up. You're not just a man. You're a confident man. And that, my friends, is a game changer. 7. Unpleasant Habits You know what they are. The nail-biting, the loud chewing, the constant phone-checking mid-conversation. These are like tiny little gremlins, sabotaging your charm offensive. Think about it from her perspective. She's there, looking forward to a great conversation with you, and there you are, distracted by a text message, or chomping on your food like it's a race. Doesn't paint a pretty picture, does it? Remember, it's these small details that create the big picture of who you are in her mind. So, it's time to wrangle those gremlins. Pay attention to your habits. Are they courteous? Are they respectful? Remember, you're not just representing yourself, but also the man she could potentially spend more time with. Make sure that man doesn't have gremlins for company. 8. Just not her type. Let's face a cold, hard truth. Sometimes you're just not her type. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's not going to work no matter how hard you push. Look, we all have a type, right? Blondes, brunettes, athletes, nerds, you name it. The same goes for women. She might be into musicians, while you can't play a note to save your life. Or maybe she's into outdoorsy guys, while you prefer the comfort of your couch. But here's the deal. That's okay. Not being her type doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. Just like preferring pizza over sushi doesn't mean sushi is bad. It's just about preferences. So if you're not her type, don't sweat it. Don't try to become someone you're not. Remember, for every not your type, there's a just your type waiting around the corner. Be true to yourself. The right woman will appreciate you for you. That wraps up our dive into the reasons a woman might reject you. Remember, none of this is about changing who you fundamentally are, but about understanding, growing, and presenting the best version of you. And don't forget, every no is a step closer to a yes. So keep your chin up, keep learning, and keep striving to be the best you can be. Until next time, stay classy and stay confident, guys. If you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more and make sure to subscribe and leave a like.